Wow. Team Crawford, Terrence Crawford's very own boy, Bernie, gets at Errol Spence trainer, Derek James, and Errol Spence. He says, stop playing games with them and sign the effing contract. Y'all don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. We working. Smash the like button while you at it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Cash App, dollar sign, boxing, Ego. Before I get started, ESPN Plus ESPN Plus, they offer a ton of original content, docuseries, documentaries, archive fights for your viewing needs. ESPN Plus as a standalone app is $5.99 a month, or you can get the bundle if you want more content. ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus get all three of those apps for one low price of $12.99. I personally have all three and use them. Now, smash the like button. Use the ESPN Plus link. Help the channel grow if you like. And want some content. Terrence Crawford, his boy Bernie, he back at it. You know, at times Crawford has given his phone to his man's Bernie. And Bernie, you know, he's no stranger of, you know, confrontation or speaking his mind. I want to read a couple pool quotes and then I'll let you hear verbatim what he said in the video. Smash the like button. And he got at Errol Spence and even was going at his trainer and a little bit Adrian Broner. He said Adrian Broner was ducking Terrence Crawford, ducking Bud. He said Broner duck Bud, basically. But here's the direct quote. He says, quote, I heard what Derrick James said, all that propaganda. It's like we don't say anything about anyone and they're always trying to find another way out of the fight. I don't understand Bob Arum's comments. Why are you talking about your product like that? It don't make no sense. Where did he lose those moments at? You made a good point. Right? He goes on and says, I was ready to go in yesterday, but Bud got on his game and decided not to. My thing is, what's all the disrespect for? I know we're going to fight. Can't we be cordial to another? Now I feel disrespected by Errol Spence's trainer, Derek James, and I feel disrespected by Errol Spence. When you disrespect, you get your head bust. Sign the contract and stop playing. Stop making all these demands. You ain't shitting it. You ain't doing no numbers like that without no dance partner, punk. You got the game sewed up over these. So, of course, you're going to make it. We doing whatever we can. Nigga undefeated. Knocking punks out. So, he was he was getting his greasy on. The man Bernie was getting his greasy on. We'll see. I mean, one thing that he said that was interesting. Listen to the part about Broner. And then the other thing he said was interesting is he pretty much he he's repping for his man, Terrence Bud Crawford in Omaha. But he says, stop making all these demands. You ain't ish. You ain't doing no numbers without no dance partner. But that doesn't make sense because Errol Spence is doing numbers. He did 350 and 360,000 on his pay-per-view. I mean, nobody would do this is not the movie with Will Smith. I am legend. Fred, you better say something, Fred. Like, it's not a movie. Why would, why, if no one's going to do dance with no dance partner, nobody's going to do numbers. Nobody's going to just pay to see Errol in the ring shadow boxing like that. So I didn't even understand that you ain't doing no numbers, punk, or whatever he said um, without a dance partner. Of course, Floyd Mayweather is the best businessman we've seen in boxing ever. And, of course, he had to have some level of a dance partner that could make it interesting. You know, Floyd could carry the promotion, but he still had to fight somebody, be it Cotto, Hatton, Marquez, Pacquiao, Robert Guerrero, Canelo, you know. So that didn't make sense to me. And he says, you got the game sewed up, so, of course, you're going to make it. So he's basically acknowledging that Errol Spence has all the top comp, you know, and most outside of Crawford, 
most of the the welterweights at his disposal, you know, in his machine and, and vehicle. So I didn't really have much to say, but you guys listen to the video and tell me what you think particularly and drop that in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. BNB, we checked in. We checked in. Second workout of the day. I'm on my job. Watching my champs work. Sindo, yeah, got BU over there. Y'all know this guy? Got Jamil Hang over there. World champion at 130 pounds. Getting loose, pre-camp, pre-camp. Y'all know we got Frampton. We got Frampton coming up, so we getting ready. We, we making a starting early, shaking out the cobwebs, staying loose. We got Alan Pardino, top amateur in the country, USA's. We got canceled, pushed back, but we still working like it's nothing. We just working. Chief Foles, you know where I'm at. I'm in the office, man. We got Ali over there from the Taliban regime. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna, we gonna blow something up with them fists, huh? Hell yeah, yeah, we gonna blow something up with them fists, boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Baghdad. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a minute while we're here, while them guys getting ready to talk a little stuff. Say my little piece, uh, Derrick James talking all this nonsense. I mean, it's crazy the propaganda going on, ain't it? It's crazy. Uh, you know I can't say, Rosinda. I don't know who gonna win that fight. I can't say. But, but uh. Derrick James, man, talk about my boy, man. I just can't understand the hate that uh, Crawford is getting, that Bud getting. I can't understand it. Um, it's one negative thing after another, and we ain't saying nothing, you know, bad about nobody. I just don't get it, man. Derrick James, they're everything they got to say, so we're trying to find another way out to fight. Why? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand Bob Aram's comments. What? Do you, why would you talk about your product like that? Why? It don't make no sense. But I guess everybody got that, got it in their mind, whatever they, you know. Maybe Bob O, too. I'm thinking Bob O, he's seen out him, you know, and she just say any fucking thing. Anybody had an old grandparent or something? No. Obviously, because the rate, the, where did he lose the money at? But now you made a good point on that. Where did he lose the money at? I don't know. I mean, they doing numbers, so. How he um, more, less popular than Spence or any rest of them? Yep. Hey. Bud was finna go the other day. He was finna go yesterday. We was finna go in yesterday. But he said he got on the game. He said he just went on and said forget about it. I was amped yesterday. I was ready to go yesterday. My goodness. Listen to Derrick James, man. I I don't understand what I, I I'm really on this, I'm really on this uh I know we gonna fight each other. I dig that. I know we gonna fight each other. But at the same time. 
can we be cordial to each other? What's the disrespect for? What's the disrespect for? Because now I feel so disrespected by Derrick James. I feel disrespected by Earl Spence. So it's more past, and I'm thinking that they okay, they good people, and they box people, but they disrespect it. So when they disrespect him, boy, you get your head bust. Sign a contract. Stop playing. Stop making all these motherfucking demands. Stop making all this shit. You ain't shit, nigga. You ain't doing no numbers like that, nigga, without nobody, y'all no dance partner, punk. Y'all got all the games sold up over there. Y'all got everybody over there, nigga, so of course y'all gonna make it, punk. We doing whatever we can. Nigga, undefeated, knocking punks out. All right, I'm gonna take it off me. I'm gonna go back to my guys. Melly, what's up, man? How you feel? Good, 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 good. good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gonna jump on Frampton, man. We gonna jump on Frampton, man. We gonna jump on Frampton, man. We got old Carl Frampton, man. International. That's a world champion. He fight people from all over. That's right. We going international. Scotland, England, put them all together. What's up with you guys? Shout out to Ireland, shout out to Northern Ireland. You heard him, that's right. We got love for across the pond, but we gonna beat your ass, boy. Don't you even worry about that, we gonna beat your ass. Number one, <laughs> shit. We all good till you get in that ring, boy. Beat your ass. The A, yeah, I got people down in Atlanta, man. I be in the A uh, whenever I can. Whenever I can. You got a gym in Atlanta or what? What's happening? What gym should I come to? What, what gym should I come to? Just a little light work. Just a little light work. What's up, Red? Where your ass at, boy? Get your ass down here. Where you at, boy? Thanksgiving together. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Red, you all, you know you invited. I want to tell you. My old lady gonna cook up so much good food, you ain't gonna believe it, man. I'm telling you. She cooked like she 80, but she only 30 something. So you're more than welcome. Where are you, Red? Boxing and fitness. What's up, Shorty? Where your little ass at? Where your little ass at, Shorty? You need to be in the damn gym. Yeah. Come on, hey, move you back down here, bro. Man. Get your ass in the gym. What the fuck you doing? Hanging out? Being a prima donna? Yes, yeah, sir. Dude, where your ass? Come on, man. You were supposed to be in the gym. What? Everybody. Oh, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I hear you. Come on. Come on. I need to be at the gym. <laughs> so yeah. We at the gym, man. World famous B and B. Home of champions, you know. Lou, what's happening? This is this is the home of uh of also Steven Soko Nelson. As well as of course Jamel Harry. We got him over there. We salute our champions over here. We love our champions over here. But we got the thing cover. It's all good. We got B Who over there. Talented MMA fighter. And boxer. Boxer first. <laughs> MMA, cause he just a savage. You wanna kick a motherfucker. Hit hitting him ain't hitting him ain't good enough. Just hitting him ain't good enough. Be who wanna kick him, knee him, but it's all good. Okay. You hear my soundtrack? It's all East Coast over here, baby. That's Melly, he love East Coast. Mama! That's okay, you look good, you're working. Everybody look good when they working. Daniel, what's up with the kid? Yeah, mama, that's all right. Ari, what's up? 
Now listen, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Somebody better snatch this guy up because he's gonna be one of the premier trainers coming out now. Don't believe he, he can do it all. He's a he's a trainer, he's a mentor, he's a uh, physical condition uh, trainer. He's all that in one. Get with Ari, this, this is Alan Spardino's brother. There you go, sign him up. But you come second after the champ. Okay, we got another guy in here. Big fella come work out. All right, all right. So, you know who we got, Tuto. <laughs> we working, we working. That's right. So he stay working. He, 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 he don't quit. Even though he got rich and famous, he still work out like he ain't, like he ain't doing none of that. That's right, that's right, that's right. Y'all know who that is. Trainer of Bud Crawford. One of them. Yes, sir. All right. So you know what time it is. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope y'all have a safe, happy holiday. You know what I mean? Y'all eat good. You understand? You enjoy your folks. You know, we triple blessed. You know, if you're standing here, you triple blessed. And uh, I know I am. So I'm wishing the best to everybody. All the fighters, y'all more than welcome to come over to my spot. Enjoy Thanksgiving dinner. Whatever's left. You understand? Get there at three. It's going down. Big pies, big cakes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't got to worry about no weight, so I'm going I'm to I'm do whatever I want. You understand? For now, nah, man. For now. Nah, man, you need to quit that shit. For now, nah, you need to quit that shit. For now, nah, you need to quit that shit, man. All that shit you uh, secondary and them shit to, uh, with Derrick James and all that shit, man. You need to quit that shit, man. You need to quit that shit, man. For real, dog. For real, dog. For real. I know you from Texas, too. I didn't realize that, but damn, man. Spence, all right. But come on, man. Y'all be dragging it, man. Y'all talking shit about Bud, man. All we want is the fight. You keep acknowledging. You know the man can fight. We can't get no fight. And you steady talking down on him. How? Why? We black people, man. You gonna let them motherfuckers talk shit about Bud like that just because you from Texas? Come on, man. Come on, man. Just because you from Texas? Come on, man. No, that, sh that ain't cool, bro. Talking about moving. They always saying something disrespectful. Jake Jane, man, you think you somebody so cool? <laughs> bro, you ain't. I seen your fight too. You ain't. You wasn't. You wasn't. I seen you, my nigga. <laughs> you wasn't really, nigga. I mean, but I respect you though, because you took on a heck of a guy. I respect you. You had guts in your, you know, for yourself. You believed in yourself. And you quitted yourself good, but man, I ain't. Come on, bro. Damn, you think you so fucking hot shit. Man, get out of here, nigga. Fuck. Man, talking down on my guy like that. Prospect, motherfucker, we beat the champions. We beat the champions. Whoever the fuck was in our way, we beat them, bro. Yeah, Broner, yeah, Broner ran away from us. Broner, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what time it is, nigga. You good people, but nigga, you ran away from us. Nigga, you jumped out the 135 division. Yeah, don't say money, say, because you didn't give a fuck about no legacy. Yeah, it was about to check. Yeah, if you left, yeah, because it's about to check. You knew this nigga was coming. They brung him for training camp. Yeah, they brung, try to get Bud for training camp. It wasn't happening, though. It wasn't happening. Nigga, I ain't no sparring partner, nigga. Tim Bradley said that years before. Nigga, ain't no sparring partner, nigga. Yeah, trying to get a gauge on nigga. Just fight a nigga, you feel me? Just fight a nigga. And, and, uh, and uh, at 148, hey, post, come on, man. You didn't know him, but you know he was a killer. You know he was a killer. Come on, cause Danny Garcia left. Danny Garcia made the division? No. 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 But dig this. For now, your day is coming, boy. All that fake shit you be talking, you gonna have to run into somebody. You gonna have to run into somebody, nigga. Cause motherfucker don't wanna get an interview. Derrick James, I swear we gonna fuck y'all up. Sign the contract, stop saying all that fuck shit. Don't say, don't worry about this and that, making up every fuck, don't say that. Just sign the fucking contract, motherfucker. Make the fight, punk. Don't, don't, all that shit don't matter. Don't worry about it. You ain't worried, don't you worry about no Bob Aram. Don't you worry about shit else. Where we getting paid? What's this? What's that? All you need to worry about is your motherfucking ass. Worry about what the fuck you doing. Worry about what you need to do to get ready for the fight. Get past this fight. I'm praying and hoping that you wish it and that you do. Fuck it. Manny Pacquiao, let that motherfucker sit out there and rock. Do something for yourself and fight somebody in his prime. Somebody targeted and ready for your punk ass. Somebody your size, somebody that's ready and willing for your punk ass. Cause we've been wanting you. James, Spence, stop playing. Stop playing. 
And y'all motherfuckers uh, 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 saluting this shit. Y'all motherfuckers uh, 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 praising this shit. Y'all motherfuckers uh, congratulating this shit. And y'all letting these fuck motherfuckers make every excuse. Y'all see, we getting it from every corner. The promoter, everybody else that can think about to try to do something to us, to say something down on us. And we ain't doing nothing but winning, huh? We ain't fucking around in no fucking car crash getting drunk and doing no stupid shit like that. No, we ain't doing that. We in the gym taking care of our family, doing right, motherfucker. Dancing around with a nigga in the club, fuck you, huh? Sign the contract. Y'all making all them excuses for them bitch ass niggas. All we want is the fight. And like he said, we don't need no, we don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers got money, motherfuckers got championships, accomplishments, motherfuckers don't give a fuck, huh? But we bored, nigga. Give us some food, punk. Fuck you, Fanon. Derrick James, Spitz. And I mean that, nigga. Sign the contract, punk. Stop making up all these fucking excuses. Melly. Let's go. What we doing, baby? <laughs> what we doing? We finna work? Everybody work, man. All right. You want the pass right now or what? Yeah. Huh? All right, what we doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. We got a young tiger. If he want to do right now. If he want to do right, we got a young tiger right here. Young Ty, he don't give a fuck though. He come off the street and give anybody a, a problem. He gonna give you trouble off the street. He gonna give you trouble off the street. That's Bud's little cousin. He got it in him at a young age too. Ali, what's up, what you doing, man? There you go. All right, we finna go to work, man. I gotta get off this live, man. We gotta go to work. Hey, again. There you go. Peace and blessings to everybody out there. We got love. You feel me? It ain't about, you know what I mean? We just want to fight, but we ain't taking no disrespect. You understand? It's all love, especially if you're a fighter. I love fighters. And man, I just want to see the best fight the best, but I ain't taking no disrespect. You hate no Crawford, nigga, you hating on me. You hating on the whole town, nigga. If you don't love Bud, nigga, go kill yourself. Fuck you. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.